This rust fell off a car, and it seems a shame to let it go to waste. I figure it would be fun to make it into blue paint, so that's what I'm going to do today. To start I need to load pieces of the rusty metal into a beaker. To this I will add just enough concentrated hydrochloric acid to cover the rust. Rust is composed of iron 3 oxide, and the acid will slowly dissolve it into iron 3 chloride. This is actually better than using actual iron because it eliminates the oxidation step. However, because this was rust from a car I need to filter off all the dirt, paint, and debris before I can use it. This is done using gravity filtration, and it takes about 30 minutes. While the iron solution is filtering I start to prepare my other solution, beginning with 250 milliliters of distilled water. And here, I'll dissolve about 25 grams of potassium ferrocyanide. While that's dissolving I transfer my filtered iron 3 solution to a beaker. Now it's finally time for the reaction. By adding my iron 3 chloride solution to my potassium ferrocyanide solution I can precipitate the pigment Prussian blue. This pigment is a very vibrant dark blue and the first synthetic pigment. As I add more iron the solution becomes increasingly blue and due to using excess iron this will use up all the ferrocyanide. The resulting solution is thick with the blue pigment and very acidic. To fix this I'll simply filter it off and rinse twice with water. This will take a while, so I leave it overnight. Now that it's rinsed and filtered, I transfer it to a drying dish and let it dehydrate. When it's dry the Prussian blue forms these beautiful dark blue crystals. To demonstrate its use as a paint I crush it down with linseed oil. Keep in mind I'm not an artist and I don't have a paint muller, so this isn't as impressive as it could be. I hope this process was interesting, and as always follow for more.